Hello everybody, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be going through my August potential TBRs. Ha ha! She's a liar. She's a freaking liar. But anyway, you might see some repeats. If you're a returning subscriber of mine, please look away. I am ashamed of myself. So July was the month of my birthday. Yes, the whole entire month is a birthday celebration. No, it wasn't. I have still had to go to work and it was still very very busy at work so i lost my mind a little bit but i did take a day off on my birthday for those of you who were wondering my birthday was on the 30th of july and i turned i really don't want to admit it <laughs> out loud on the internet but i turned 31 i don't know if i look my age but lie to me if i do and whatever i actually don't really care the only thing that really bugged me about turning 31 in australia is um your insurance premium goes up Love that for me. I went to the library on my birthday. That was very exciting. I got to do all the things I wanted to do. I went and bought all the food that I wanted, but I didn't buy a single book. I was very shocked because there was two books that came out on my birthday. Well, actually no, there was a couple of books that came out on my birthday. The Fiance Dilemma by Elena Armas. I'm looking at it right now. Essentially, it's a stack of books that I use as a tripod. But I also got Fall With Me by Becca Mack from Simon Schuster's. I also have the arc that I haven't um, reviewed yet because I have to read the first, the other two books in the series. I read the first one. What an improvement. <laughs> there was just a lot of purple covers, romance stories that came out on the 30th of July. I was in heaven. There were so many options. I tried to buy all of them, but I, I couldn't. They were not, they technically got released out on the 30th, but a lot of places don't have it until like the next day, which is the 31st, which is the reason why I bought those two books I just mentioned the day after. But you're not here to hear me ramble about like my birthday. Like it's gone and dusted at this point and I would like to also move on. So the only library loan that I picked out, and I've seen a couple of times every single time I walk past my newest edition romance section of the library is So I've Out of His League by Caroline Richardson. So here we go got drawn with the cover. I don't really care for baseball that much. I used to care about baseball because there was this anime that I used to watch that all female league. I don't even know what it's called but it was a female team and they were discriminated against and it was based in early 2000s Japan. So you could imagine the discrimination and that's the only reason why I even cared about baseball for a while so I do know a little bit about it but in terms of like American teams no, this is like a very rare find for me, but baseball romance, I'm assuming, out of his league. And I've been seeing this at my local library, that's why I picked it up. It is W by Wattpad Books, so it should be a hoot. Don't know too much about it, only picked up one book. I've learned from my mistakes. We're sticking with one thing at a time. And two is my maximum at the local library because I am such a slow physical book reader, but when it comes to Kindle or audiobooks, this book will be featured in my Amazon Prime haul coming out soon because i actually filmed it go me but i also have a birthday book haul but i don't want to touch that that is scary so i have save me an orange by Haley race this is a poetry poem book and i've seen some quotes floating around tiktok and that's the reason why i wanted to pick it up there is only the physical version available at the moment during prime day it was like reduced by six dollars because originally this is 25 dollars listen poetry are independent author in the offer. However, could not justify the $25 uh, price tag, but when it reduced to 60, I picked it up. So I'm assuming since it's a short poetry book, I should be able to finish it. Here's to hoping. And then I also have the Tycoon by M. O. Kifi. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure I pronounced it incorrectly. Considering this is a novella, bought it for really cheap during Prime Day, I'm hoping that I can finish it. And it's a bit of a age gap romance, I think, maybe. Marriage in distress or second chance romance kind of situation where she has to go back to her fiancé or ex-fiancé because she's in financial troubles. Now, Oh, I almost dropped the books into my cup of mug. Accidentally zoomed in because I almost threw my books. <sighs> I need to figure this out. Did I mention I'm going on a road trip soon with my bestie? I'm very, I'm looking forward to it. I was supposed to go to this country town in the middle of Sydney with my bestie during my birthday week. However, this particular bookstore in the middle of the countryside only opens between Thursdays and Sundays 
between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I almost took annual leave on a Wednesday hoping that I may maybe in the middle of the week they're open, they're not open. So for those of you who want to like support indie bookstores, <laughs> please check the times. But I almost took annual leave for no reason. Luckily, cancelled. But um, that, that will be happening soon. I'll be asking if my bestie would be okay with me filming her, her and I at the bookstore buying books so that was the plan to go there because of the schedule <laughs> it's so funny like i i understand because it's in the middle of the countryside but nevertheless that was some side quest that got cancelled but um i do have these two don't look at me if you why are you so defensive suddenly um because these have been featuring on my channel for i don't know how long at this point so i have king of greed and king of sloth by anna hong listen maybe 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 august would be the month that i will finally read these books i just realized that there's a massive difference so this is um second chance romance marriage in distress all the good stuff and then this one is pr agent celebrity romance both billionaires okay although king of greed sounds more interesting to me but i've heard people say king of sloth is better it's very subjective because king of wrath was okay for me and king of pride i dnf so i was so excited for king of pride <laughs> But unfortunately for me, it did not work out in my favor. I didn't have around 70%, so I will actually go back to it. So I did cancel my Kindle Unlimited and I didn't resubscribe. But I still have my audiobook subscription from any player subscription. So that's the only thing I'm keeping. So I can actually have a fighting chance of reading my backlog. So we're going to move on to my NetGalley arcs. For the past two days, I've been reading my arcs. So go me. If you follow me on the Goodreads, then you've been seeing me like reading a little bit more during the weekends. That's the only time slot I, that I have for myself. These are my current net galley arc. So I have Lost and Lasso by Lila Sage. I do have the first two books in the pile, Cowboy Romance. Very excited that I got access to the third book. I don't know when I'm going to read it because I have to read the first two books of this series. Cowboy Romance. Kingmakers Year One by Sophie Locke. I originally saw this... I think there was a remade or renamed of the title and it's if it's not high school then it's college kind of campus situation and it's a series and I also have Seven Circle by Tate James. I don't really know too much about it but I really want to start on Tate James's catalogue because there's quite a few books. I, I do have the entire series of her other books which is Hate Liar, Fake and Kate. I don't remember what the series is called but I do have the whole entire physical uh, catalogue of that and I would also like to start it. I featured it in my previous um, TBR of Potentials but I took it out this month because I just know that it's not going to happen and I have to go through the first and I have Hate Hex by Gina LaManna and then I have Fall With Me by Becca Mack like I mentioned I need to read the other two books in this series before I can start it. Playing with Magic uh, Gretchen Rue I actually have finished the book I need to write my review that's the only thing. I have Hearts on Thin Eyes by Katie Kennedy. I don't know if it's like a standalone but I have to do more research before I start again. City of Books by Nicole Mia. Not in my book Katie Holt. Avengers Heat by Katie Ruth. Listen there is some progress with this one. So for this book I did read the first book of the series and it wasn't hitting it too well with me at the very beginning because I was hoping for a lighter shift of romance but it was a bit more heavy and I required a little bit more concentration but I'm glad I read the first book of the series and I feel like I'm confident enough to potentially skip the second book and the third book. I was reading a review saying that I will have a better experience if I just read in order and I'm very tempted to read it in order so I can see the character progressions in the cameos and all of that and it's hurting my soul because I would like to finish it but at the same time I have too many things on my plate and I like to get through it. And then I have Flirtation or Face Off by Le Leah Bruner. Again, this is like the third or fourth book of the series. I don't remember at this point. Hockey Romance. I will have to go through the series first. And then I have Of Love and Forged by Carly Spade. This one has been here for almost two months. Well, not two months, two years. That's all the physical books and potential TBR arcs and all of that I would like to get through in the month of August. That is why I only picked out such a small amount of books. 
in comparison to my previous months because I, I just know I won't be able to get through it. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say to me. What books have you been reading in the month and what books are you looking forward to? Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Hit the bell for the notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.